Hello, um, and welcome to this uh, presentation of uh, uh, the MSc in Artificial Intelligence and Deep Learning from uh, the University of uh, West Attica in Greece. I am uh, Haralabus Patrikakis. I am a professor at the University of West Attica, the Department of uh, uh, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, and I am the director of the program. Uh, the MC program is uh, targeting uh, university graduates who hold a degree in science or engineering and want to specialize in AI and uh, deep learning. And uh, of course, and uh, as uh, we have seen, uh, many uh, working professionals uh, join us uh, uh, in their attempt to benefit from the new opportunities created by AI and uh, deep learning. On the right, uh, in, your, in uh, your slide, uh, you are able to see the credits, the duration, which is uh, three academic semesters. Uh, the courses are face-to-face -face with some of them, especially those given by invited lecturers uh, being given online. Uh, language, the all notes are in English uh, and uh, uh, presentations are also in English. There is an option for Greek speaking students to have uh, some of the presentations in Greek. But uh, all the program is uh, oriented towards uh, English uh, notes and uh, tutor language. The total fee for the three semesters is uh, 3,000 euros. Uh, some of the students, uh, uh, three of the students, depending on their uh, performance, uh, might get a full or a half scholarship for a semester. The venue is the University of uh, West Africa in Egalio, Greece. And uh, the qualification status is um, MSc Level 7 of uh, EQF and uh, QF. Now, classes start uh, uh, once uh, per year in uh, spring uh, semester, and uh, admissions open uh, early, uh, earlier. So this July, the submissions will open. Uh, with, the star, with the next classes starting February 2023. Now, uh, the MSc program aims to address the market demand for professionals uh, that are capable to design, develop, and apply AI and deep learning algorithms in uh, different sectors of the economy, uh, health industry, education, engineering, and uh, for this, it has a very practical profile. Uh, graduates will be able to combine AI and uh, deep learning with other technologies, such as big data, big analytics, uh, in order to uh, provide solutions and reach decision making. Now, uh, there is a strong emphasis of the curriculum on providing the students with hands-on experience. Uh, both educational material uh, projects and tools uh, used, and we have tools provided by Deep Learning Institute of NVIDIA, are integrated in the curriculum. While students are given direct access to GPU infrastructure and hardware throughout their studies. I will speak uh, more about this uh, later. Now, uh, program features, as I mentioned before, big data analytics, hands-on experience, uh, support from uh, NVIDIA DL Institute in terms of courses, course material, and also uh, we have support in terms of hardware by NVIDIA. Uh, instructors uh, are uh, people who are uh, professors in our university or other uh, universities. Uh, around the, the world or certified trainers uh, by NVIDIA, of course, all uh, PhD candidates uh, all, all hold a PhD degree and have the qualification uh, of being a professor. Um, this is the curriculum. Uh, as I said, it's uh, three semesters with the last one being the MSc thesis. The first uh, uh, we have uh, three modules. The general module, uh, which uh, gives a major in artificial intelligence and deep learning, is, uh, uh, you see it on the left, it consists of eight uh, courses. 
six of them um, on the first uh, semester and uh, two of them in the second. While uh, students get the opportunity of uh, having a specialization to a major in AI and uh, deep learning and a minor in autonomous systems or cognitive systems, if they select uh, uh, the corresponding three courses, or they can uh, simply have the major in AI and deep learning. So there's a flexibility uh, if someone wants to specialize on autonomous systems and you see the three courses, uh, signal processing, uh, advanced intelligence control and robotic systems and autonomous vehicles or cognitive systems, wearable and effective computing, AI in healthcare and biometrics and NLP with deep learning. All courses have uh, projects. As I said earlier, uh, there's a strong orientation towards uh, hands-on experience. So there, there are no exams. Instead, they are uh, projects so that uh, all students have a hands-on experience on the topics taught. Uh, and of course, there's the MSc thesis on the third semester. Um, Oh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, several labs, uh, including the one that I lead, uh, concert, are uh, uh, supporting this uh, MSc. And as I said, the Deep Learning Institute of uh, Nvidia. On the lower part of your uh, screen, you are able to see the tools that uh, we're using, and uh, we also. Uh, uh, give the opportunity to students during uh, their study to get uh, some certification in parts of the courses. For example, uh, Panagiotis Kassinesis uh, is uh, one of the instructors and he's a DLI uh, NVIDIA Academic Ambassador. Uh, the, the program is uh, quite new, so we're uh, now in the first year, but already the students of the uh, first year have uh, gotten two certifications in two of the courses uh, uh, top NVIDIA uh, DLI certifications. Of course, they are tutors, as I said, uh, giving invited lectures, some of them online because they, they give them remotely. Um, you can find all the collaborators in our website. I will just name a few, Anil uh, Prasad, um, the PTS, Cytriply, Board of Governors, um, Nikos Christakis, who is the Managing Director of Hill Packard for uh, uh, Cyprus and Greece, uh, Sorin Madame Matei, who is uh, Associate Dean of Research, uh, College of Liberal Arts in Purdue University, uh, Jim Liu, Associate Professor at Johns Hopkins, and, and many other uh, people who collaborate with us and uh, give invited lectures. Uh, facilities, as of uh, uh, the end of this academic semester, the university will uh, have its uh, own AI cloud, so we'll, consisting of uh, NVIDIA A100, uh, and uh, students will be able to take advantage of that. But already the supporting labs have uh, uh, hardware that is uh, used for uh, student projects, uh, Featuring Titan X is so 180, 280 TI cards, and of course, Jetsons, uh, both uh, the uh, traditional and the nano uh, versions. Uh, of course, there are also other platforms, uh, for example, uh, MIT's uh, DACIBOTS used in the context of uh, courses such as uh, autonomous uh, vehicles. And uh, each student at uh, the second semester uh, gets what we call a first aid kit. Uh, you see it on the left. It's the concept on the right. It's the actual one. Uh, an NVIDIA Jetson Nano, two gigabytes, uh, with a small camera and um, an SD card and of course the, the power supply so that uh, they have their own infrastructure for experimenting and uh, working on the projects that uh, they will have. Uh, people who work in the area know how difficult it is at this uh, time to get uh, the uh, 
to get this hardware with a chip shortage. Uh, but uh, because of the excellent collaboration we have with NVIDIA, we have this uh, secured for all our students uh, and uh, it will be guaranteed for the next uh, years. Now, uh, for those of you that do not know the University of Statica, we are uh, very lucky to have our premises adjusting to Plato's Academy, you may have heard about that in, during your school years, and uh, the historic Athens Olive Grove. In fact, uh, I'm located now in uh, Athens Olive Grove, Grove uh, campus. It is the place where ancient Athenian philosophers gave their lectures. You see some photos of the campus and of our library, of our uh, conference center. Now, uh, the university was uh, founded uh, a few years ago, merging two metropolitan technology education uh, institutes. And it's, it's a quite a big university, including 27 departments and six schools, uh, and uh, offers undergraduate, graduate and doctoral study programs. At this point, I will have to mention that we have a long experience of uh, hosting uh, foreign students, both uh, over Erasmus and Erasmus uh, Plus partnerships, uh, but also through bilateral uh, agreements. Uh, for example, we are waiting for uh, two uh, Princeton uh, undergraduates to have their internship uh, during this summer in my lab. So we are. Uh, we're very fond, we're, we're encouraging foreign students to come study, work and research with us. So here's our web page. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, you're free to contact us either directly or uh, through uh, Study in Greece and the platform here. We'll be happy to answer any question. And if you're interested, we'll be happy to have you as uh, students.